is. Good morning. Hi. Um, I left the Hetland Hall Hotel near Dumfries at about 9.45. Uh, as you can see, it's been raining most of the night and it's just a sort of light drizzle now. Um, it's uh, quarter past 10 and I'm on the A75 towards Stranra. And then the plan is to stop there and see what the weather's like, have a coffee, take some pictures, etc. Head a little bit further north up the coast before turning uh, easterly into the Galloway Forest where I'm on a route through there. And um, ultimately my goal is a hotel pub in Moffat over to the east of here. So let's see how it goes. So I just turned uh, right and then left onto the A713, uh, which uh, goes towards air. Basically, I'm still going westerly and going to hit the uh, coast and have a coffee over there before going north. Just thought I'd show you this side road rather than staying on the A75. I just entered the town of Cross Michael. And it's still raining. So this is what's known as the Galloway tourist route uh, to air. I know this because it was on a board a couple of miles back. This is, um, it, I know it's Sunday, well, you don't know it's Sunday, but it, it's, it's only Sunday, but there's very, very few vehicles on this road, so it's nice to just uh, go along at your own pace. Having said that, of course, two cars have gone by since I started that, that piece. Trust me, it's not used very much. And there's some uh, lakes over to my left hand side, I can't really give you a shot of that at the moment, but uh, there's been a sort of series of them for the last uh, couple of miles. So I'm going through the uh, Galloway Forest uh, route to Strand Rare at the moment, which is stunning, it would be fantastic in the dry, uh, but it's stunning countryside and well worth a visit if you're in this area. I'm keeping this to a minimum though because raining shot, rainy shots are not very interesting. But I think you can see there's um, some low mountains around us here. It's all encroached in a bit here, whereas it was quite open earlier very grippy roads through here for bikers amongst us. Deer parks etc to go visit if you're in this area and you're interested in that sort of thing. Well, this is Strand Rare on a miserable Sunday. Found a petrol stop, topped up. Let's head back into the sort of town centre now. I've been around the outside. See if there's a coffee shop somewhere. Doesn't seem to be much open actually. Nice coffee shop right in the centre of town. Um, so this is the, I'm just heading north up towards, um, not going to it, but uh, head towards air on the A75. So this is the uh, seafront in uh, Stranra. The rain has uh, stopped a little bit at the moment. It's just dribbling, but it's not looking too great up ahead with the rolling clouds but the weather forecast appears to be getting a bit better and that's why I decided to do 
this trip today and then go back down through the Yorkshire Dales tomorrow as I think I hope that the forecast is uh, more inclined to be right tomorrow as we head up so I'm going to go north and then I'm going to turn uh, right east into the Galloway Forest and uh, on a wiggly route up through there So I'm in the Galloway Forest uh, working my way northwards. I had said to myself that it was raining, I'd do the outskirts of the forest but staying on the main roads. Um, but I'm determined to come up through the forest and see what it's like. Hope you can see what's going on on the uh, GoPro. Still hardly anybody around. It's, uh, nearly one o'clock on a Sunday. Haven't been through much forest yet though. Look. It's been everything from torrential to light rain. It's taken another break at the moment, hence my piece of camera. Sorry, I've had to have the uh, visor open just to try and clear the inside of the uh, screen. Okay, catch up with you in a minute. So I'm going to turn left here towards Glentree Pool, I think it was said. This road here is uh, Glentrule Pool. And we're right in the Galloway Forest here. Galloway Forest Park. Oh, a little pub there. Sure, it'd be great in the dry, dry weather. Sorry, I can't remember what road number this one is. We're heading in the north easterly direction. Here are, this is the village of Glentrool. I'm sure you can look that up on Google Maps. Welcome to Ayrshire. I must have driven about four miles along here so far. I haven't seen a moving car. A couple of army wagons, uh, presumably on doing some sort of manoeuvres up here. But uh, they were just beside the road. No other cars on this uh, road at all. So, which, uh, this is a sort of narrower section through here. You won't be able to see it on here, but there's a probably river running along the valley floor to my right hand side. So that's one car in four miles, five miles. Another 15 to go. Just stop for a moment to give my legs a break. And uh, oh, there is a vehicle coming pretty remote here through this road in the Galloway Forest. Probably can't see it on the GoPro but directly ahead of me across the just the other side of the valley there's a little homestead there. That is remote living that's for sure. Nice valley. I'm sure in the summer months it's a bit better. God, there's all traffic now. There's four cars now. There we go, right, back on the road. So we're travelling through more of the central area. Loads of forest, lots of moorland. So we're out of the main forested area and it's uh, Let's watch where we're going here. So we've got rolling hills over on the right hand side. Valley on the left. Gated area here.
bit of a boat out here. Before you start this trip, I'd definitely top up your petrol just in case uh, you haven't got enough. I topped up in Strand Rare, filled up in Strand Rare. I just used uh, about a quarter of a tank since then. East Ayrshire. The skittish one or two of them. Right, we got 50 miles to Moffat, and if you're out this way um, in the rain, I can attest to the fact that the manhole covers are slippery. So be careful. It's an interesting countryside here. I don't know why. Oh, we must have roadworks or something. I was just going to say what on earth the traffic lights doing out here in the middle of the country. Good, I'm going to get a panning shot then. Well, this road's open right up into a faster, sweepier. Again, be careful of the uh, drain covers. They always seem to be on the edge of, if they're going to be there, on the edge of right handers for some weird reason. And I've just turned left onto the B797, still heading towards Moffat, uh, which is 27 miles from this point. Back onto a smaller wiggly road here. A uh, bit of resurfacing, excellent, it's just what we need. Ample gravel everywhere. This is the B797 now, it's opened out. A lovely valley. We could switch the rain off. I've noticed the sheep are a bit more kamikaze down here. They do a leap out from the side. Please, hello. Hello, hello. Go to one side. Go to that side. Well done. This is quite dramatic. I put some Radex on the lens earlier, so I hope that that is surviving. Just put it in the camping out here. Mm. Interesting. Gonna go. Oh, 
the temperature was about 10 degrees more, it could be a bit more alpine around here. Very enjoyable though. Little stream running along the bottom there. Stay to the right. Stay to the left. Oh, there's categories everywhere here. Well, I had one a minute ago. Just, just switched the camera off, and the mother and I saw the lamb following her. And all that lamb was interested in was following Ma. Wasn't thinking about looking right to see if there's a car or a motorbike coming. Anyway, that's that bit.